Modern Warfare 2 has had a lot of talking points since the reveal last week, and we've hopefully done a decent enough job of covering a lot of it so far. But today, I want to take a little bit of time and touch base on one subject that's been in the limelight for a bit, but it's also relatively misunderstood. Today, we're talking about the additions of Call of Duty, how to access the game, and how the Vault Edition really isn't exactly all it seems to be for the moment, at least for some players. As we go along, drop your thoughts down below. What are your overall thoughts for Modern Warfare 2 so far and what we've seen? What are you looking forward to? What are you reserving judgment for? Whatever the case, drop your thoughts below. But if you enjoyed the video, do me a favor and drop a like on it. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button to stay there with all things Modern Warfare 2 and all things Call of Duty. Our coverage still pushes on with a lot more upcoming, so if you're interested in staying up to date with all of it, I'd love to have you in the community. And finally, today's the last day in celebration of Modern Warfare 2's reveal that my friends at G Fuel have bumped up Code Espresso to 30% off. So if you're wanting to try anything out for the very first time, grab a restock. Now is as best a time as any. Personally, I'd recommend Pink Drip, the new Morbius flavor. That's a like nectarine flavor. Hype Sauce, Strawberry Banana, and Starfruit. That's my top five, as we've mentioned here before. Can't go wrong with any of those. If you're interested, check the link in the description below. That said, let's start out with this. This year on offer, Modern Warfare 2 has three versions available, two on some platforms, the Standard Edition, Cross-Gen Edition, and the Vault Edition. Right now, there's no word on if there will be any sort of Collector's Edition, Modern Warfare 2019 being the last game in the franchise to offer one, that being the one with the night vision goggles that came along with a steel case and other stuff like that. It's very possible if one could be announced at a later date, but at the same time, we can't really discuss anything holding out hope that that will be coming. Unfortunately though, this year, the cheapest version of the game you'll be able to find is $69.99, or for the sake of simplicity, $70. I mean, it'll be over that with tax anyways, but while the current generation of PlayStation 5 and Series X and S are sort of that industry standard of $70, not just Call of Duty, it is odd to me that even the last generation versions of the game still aren't $60, but instead are 70, opting for that sort of uniform pricing with the current generation. Kind of hate to see it, but at the same time, I don't think that we'll see that change. At least this go around for Modern Warfare 2. But the standard edition is available for any platform, Xbox One, Series X and S, PlayStation 4 and 5, as well as PC. This gets you access to the game, and if you pre-order, it'll get you early access to the beta depending on what platform you're on. While no details of the beta have explicitly gone out, it is confirmed that Sony's partnership with Activision and Call of Duty is still indeed live, so that, even disregarding the leaks that we've seen, means that PlayStation will get an additional weekend here of the beta, those that pre-order getting early access, then going free to play sort of open beta for PlayStation and a week to follow for all platforms. Now, before we go too far into the discussion, I do want to make it abundantly clear. We're detailing the game offerings by versions. We're not talking about or discussing anything to explicitly trying to get you to pre-order the game. Number one, it's not my money. It's not my right to be like, hey, buy this version for $30 more. That's not my place to say what's right for you and what isn't, especially when it's your hard-earned money. And number two, honestly, I don't even really believe in pre-orders. Any games that I get interested in, I'll reserve any judgment until I get hands-on with a demo if that's available at all, and in the cases of COD, that's how I approach it every year. Don't really commit to anything unless you know that you'll enjoy it, you're genuinely intrigued. The beta is a great way to do that. These bonuses will be there after the beta still, so get as much information as you can if possible, even hands-on experience, if at all possible, before you make a decision for you. But moving on, the cross-gen bundle does the same as the standard, but allows you some flexibility if you're planning to upgrade your game version over the course of the next year, potentially two years if this game is indeed the first year to have two years of support for a life cycle of COD. This allows all your data, all your your progress and all your content should transfer to the next generation of the game whenever you decide to upgrade your console. Normally that will happen regardless, but if you don't get the cross-gen version, you'll end up either having to get the game all over again to connect those stats pending no upgrade option in the store of whatever platform you're on. This is available on Xbox One, Series X and S, and PlayStation 4 and 5. PC doesn't have this option as there's no last generation version of the game on PC, it's just PC. But now to the one that's kind of the weird one right now, the Vault Edition of the game. The Vault Edition of the game costs $99.99, again, for simplicity's sake, $100. But this edition comes along with the Red Team 141 pack, with skins for Price, Farah, Soap, and Ghost on day one of Modern Warfare 2. The FGX Cinder Weapon Vault, the first ever of its kind. Revising our discussion the other day, this is a rarer and higher level blueprint bundle that will allow for the cosmetic design to transfer over across the gun, regardless of whatever attachments you end up equipping. The Season 1 Battle Pass and 50 tier skips to go along with it open beta early access, and the Ghost Legacy Pack for instant unlock and use in Modern Warfare 2019 and Warzone featuring 10 weapon blueprints and 12 operator skins. So why is this edition not really what it may seem? Well, let's start out from the last item on that list. Quantity-wise, the Ghost Legacy Pack has a ton of content included with it, right? I mean, you get 10 weapon blueprints of the Oscar Mike, K2, the Wages of Sin, Primus, the Stem the Tide, the White Noise, Kingly Splendor, Jumping Spider, Florin, and the Breakup. 
But if you notice the pattern, those are all M4A1 blueprints. But then you also get 12 operator skins of the Jawbone, Last Breath, Mandible, Ghosted, Reckoner, Dark Vision, Classic Ghost, Winter Theater, Dreadwood, UDT Ghost, Apparition, and Asriel. Those again, all being ghost character skins as well. But what if you have any of those or possibly worst case scenario for this? all of them. Myself, I don't have all of them, but it would kind of defeat the purpose of getting this because I have a lot of them. Are you really spending an additional $30 to redeem 22 duplicate items? Well, yeah, which is where the first caveat of this version comes into play. However, where it's not easily identifiable, this actually isn't the only thing coming along with this bundle. So while right now there may not be as much value in it for you, if you have any of these blueprints or operator skins that it becomes duplicates, it is described that for those diehard ghost fans who may already have this content and or who may want some newer threads, know that this won't be the only instant unlock reward for the current war zone. More details to come soon. So it seems like we'll have something more upcoming to substitute that, or at least to bolster out that offering, making it a bit more worthwhile for those who already have those items. But right now, that bonus is about catch up initially, then offering more down the line. If I were to guess, we'll probably get like the ghost skin from Modern Warfare 2 playable within Modern Warfare 2019 and Warzone currently, but we'll have to wait and see how that all works out. Now, another overall caveat with this is that for the first time since Call of Duty World War II, we're going to be able to play Modern Warfare 2 on Steam, right? But what's that mean for these versions and the game bonuses that go along with it? So far, it actually looks like you won't be able to get those things like those 22 items of that Ghost Legacy pack right now. Per the Activision FAQ page on the Modern Warfare 2 editions of the game, it stated Steam players, the Ghost Legacy pack content is not available on the Steam platforms as Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019 and Call of Duty Warzone are not available on Steam. However, for Steam owners of the Vault Edition, the content will be available closer to launch on other platforms. The content will be available in Call of Duty Warzone and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019 on all platform accounts linked to the Activision account you use at this future date will share soon. Call of Duty Warzone or Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019 game required, sold and downloaded separately. So what you should take away from that is that if you're looking to get the Modern Warfare 2 Vault Edition on Steam, you'll have to be aware that because Modern Warfare 2019 and Warzone are not available on Steam right now, you won't be able to redeem those items just yet or instantly. It seems like, again, via your Call of Duty and Activision account that you'll be able to link it up with your game version on Bnet, but it just won't be available immediately. So if you're making that jump, just be aware of it. And then finally, the last thing in terms of a sort of caveat here with this Vault Edition is that it gives us Maybe not necessarily any sort of question mark for the content available with the game itself, but instead the future. We've talked about it here in the past, and we've seen it quite a few times as well already with Ultimate Editions of the games, where you'll end up getting tier skips with the Season 1 Battle Pass. For the first time, though, Modern Warfare 2's Season 1 Battle Pass also comes along with 50 tier skips. Now, that's something that offers up a lot of questions in and of itself. Either, number one, they're just offering a lot of content right up front, something that you can go through Season 1 relatively quickly. It's a nice boost and over a halfway boost here to it, which is certainly possible, but it also begs the question, does this mean that we will end up getting longer seasons and longer content streams for our battle passes? With the rumor that Treyarch's next Call of Duty is coming out in 2024, giving them an additional year to work on the game, polish it off, and not rush something out, this would mean that Modern Warfare 2 is the first Call of Duty game in the modern era of Call of Duty the last 10 to 15 years that has seen more than one year of support going through 2022 all the way up to fall of 2024. So if that's the case, it could be something where maybe we end up seeing 12 seasons throughout that two years, six seasons within year one, six in year two, or it could be something that we end up seeing some sort of number more than six or equal to six, but with longer durations here for it, meaning that we could, in theory, end up seeing longer battle passes supplement that time in between. Now, that just simply isn't known at the moment, but that is a very big question that is stemmed out of the fact that we'll end up seeing 50 battle pass tier skips for just a simple bonus that normally is about like 20 to 25% of your battle pass given with these sort of bonuses. So we'll have to wait and see how it all breaks down. But again, the Vault Edition offers up some questions, has some caveats with it, and overall just may have a couple of asterisks associated with it that I definitely think you should know about before even considering it. But also it leaves the door open for some of the future that we may see here out of both this version of the game and maybe others. But that said, that's going to wrap it up. Just wanted to fill guys in here on this and briefly discuss this with you. So let me know your thoughts down below. Are you guys liking any of the offerings we've seen so far? What are you excited for in regards to Modern Warfare 2? What are the case? Drop your thoughts below. But if you enjoyed the video, do me a favor and drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing running all things Modern Warfare 2. We've got a lot of stuff upcoming still, so make sure you stick it here on the channel so you don't miss a single bit. That said, thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.